What's that? It looks like the end of a used Q-tip. What's that? It looks like the end of a used Q-tip. Interesting, she appears to be waiting for someone. She might be one of those professional ladies your mom told you about. You wonder if there could be any connection between this kind of waste disposal and a thriving business like implants and stuff. Wow, that's kind of deep for you. Now there's an interesting sounding business name. You wonder what they sell. It's the Dew Beam Inn, but I'm sure they accept pedestrians also. The door hinges aren't exactly overheated from a steady flow of eager patrons. She says, scrump off, you little felchmonger. Those are some interesting looking dudes. Must be a couple of real losers since they seem to be dateless. Of course that won't be a problem for you once word gets around that you've hit the planet. Can you believe he actually thinks that? Ah, oh, this place still has those old style ray projection infomercial viewers. What rubes. Nice place if you're a fan of dives. That's the manager of this little slice of heaven. He looks like he's an expert on energy conservation. Mainly his. Nice place if you're a fan of dives. Your words cause everything to become speechless. How dynamic of you. He seems to be ignoring you. Uh, excuse me. I'd like a room, please. Really? I mean, uh, <clears throat> really? Well, uh, I think we got one or two for a couple of hundred buckazoids a night. In advance, you understand. I believe I have a prepaid reservation provided me by Starcon. I got no reservations from any Starcon. I got no reservations, period. I do a cash business. You want a room, call it the Buckazoids. So that's, um, 200. Well, okay. 200? Don't you listen, son? I said 300. That's 300 a night. And I don't include any weird pets. Them's extra. I could have sworn you said... You calling me a liar? I don't need no guff from the likes of you. This is the finest lodging on the planet, son. If you don't like the prices, you can just take your sorry pinkish carcass out of here. Well, uh, 300? Okay, uh, but give me your finest room then. The finest room. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got it, buckaroo. Best in the house. <laughs> Coming right up. Pay up, and we're in business. Okay, son, you just scribble your old Bill Shatner on the register screen, and I'll get your key card. As fine a room as you'll find on this orb. You have a brief moment of what you think is cleverness. You decide to wittily sign the name Franzel Niekberm. Okay, here's your key card. Don't lose it. Room 1220J. Up the elevator. Franzel. 
If I had a buckazoid for every time I'd seen that name, I'd be sitting pretty. I could afford one of those fancy fur lined donut thingies that. Uh, what was I saying? Anyway, enjoy your stay. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell someone. Gee, thanks. Say, could you tell me where. I'm a real busy guy, son. You got any questions, why don't you just go find the Chamber of Commerce and talk to them? I'm sure they'll be glad to help you out. Be seeing ya. Great carpet. This is definitely no place to lose a contact lens. A sign in the hazy distance indicates the presence of some huge conglomerate. Just as you are about to insert the key card so you can go inside and check out your new digs, you notice those two goony looking dudes from the lobby walking in your direction at a rather deliberate pace. Perhaps they're going to welcome you to the place or show you where the ice machine is. Hey there, pal. Got a second? Me and my friend here was wondering something. Fire away. What did you want to know? Well, we was wondering if you'd have any objection to us pounding you senseless. Grab them and let's get moving. I gotta report in soon.